first question we have here under the linear approximation, the question asks us to find the linear approximation of 1.005 raised power of 10. Now, this is how we can go about it. 1.005 raised power of 10. This question can be converted into this form. We can have it to be 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to power of 10. Since our intention when we are trying to solve for linear approximation is to make the value of x to be small so that we can apply our linear approximation there. Don't forget that we have this particular rule which says that if we have a x to be 1 plus x raised power of n and when x is so small, if the value of x is so small, then we can apply our linear approximation and make this expression to become 1 plus nx. That is what the linear approximation is telling us. Now, let us now bring this value in. Since we have this value here to be very, very small now, then we can apply our linear approximation here by making it to become 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to the power of 10 will now become 1 plus 10 multiplied by 0 0.005. This is what we regard to as linear approximation uh, value. Then it becomes 1 plus 10 multiplied by 0 0.005. This one of the 0 here we go, so it becomes 0 0.05. Now, when you have this together, the linear approximation of this expression will become 1.05. That is the linear approximation of that expression. Please do stay tuned for other questions. We have this set of questions on the linear approximation. Don't forget we are still under the binomial theorem. When do we use or when can we apply a linear approximation to solve a question? Now, in binomial expansion, the expansion of a kind of expression like this, 1 plus x raised power of n is equal to 1 plus n combination 1, x, plus n combination 2, x squared, and so on and so forth like that. That is how it goes when we are doing our expansion. Now, if x is so small to the extent that x squared and x cubed and the rest are getting smaller and smaller to the extent that they get ignored. They get ignored, nobody is recognizing them again. Then 1 plus x and x raised power of n will be approximately equal to 1 plus n x. This is what we refer to as linear approximation. But take note. The value of x must be very, very small, must be so small. So let's now apply that to the question we have here on the board. For this second question here, that says that we should find the linear approximation of 2.04 raised power of 5 here. You know that 2.04 raised power of 5 cannot be converted into 1.1 1 .1 plus a particular value there. So in that regard, we have to be sensible about the way we are going to solve this kind of a question. Now, what you will do here is this. This is 2.04 raised to the power of our, our 5. So it can be equal, it will be equal to 2 into bracket 2.04, 2 raised to the power of 5 into bracket 2.04 all over, all over 2 raised to the power of 5. Now, if you look at this expression we have here very well. You can be agree with me that if I say this is 2 raised to the power of 5, eventually this 2 here will raise to the power of 5 as well. So we can cut each other. When they cut each other, they make only 2.04 to remain. But for the simplification of our uh, uh, the method of solving this question, we just uh, turn it into this formation. Like when those values you have there, when they are not having just 1 as a value, for the one plus x of that nature like that. 
but we have this one like this. In this regard, now we will use this one to reduce this to the lowest level. Now let's now have what we are going to have here now. So we are now going to have it to become two raised to the power of five into bracket of uh, what is the value of uh, two point uh, zero four over two. That's one point uh, zero two raised to the power of five. Now it is now equal to. You can see that. This one has been used to divide this value here to get 1.02 raised to the power of 5. Now it can now become 2 raised to the power of 5 into a bracket of 1 plus 0 0.02 raised to the power of 5. Yes, I think it is a very well cleared uh, expression. Now, if you have this to this, you are going to get 1.02. But now, this one has turned this expression and we can easily apply our linear approximation here. So it becomes 2 raised to the power of 5 into by 1 plus 5 multiplied by 0 0.02. This is our linear approximation expression. Now, 1 plus uh, 0 0.5 times 0 0.02. This is now equal to 32 into bracket 1 plus 0 0.1. When you multiply 5 multiplied by 0 0.02, you will get 0 0.1. It's now going to be equal to 32 into bracket of, into bracket of 1.1. So 32 multiplied by 1.1 will give us 32.2. This is the value of the linear approximation of uh, 2.04 raised to the power of 5. Let's take a look at the next question. We have this set of question on the linear approximation. Don't forget, we are still under the binomial theorem. When do we use or when can we apply a linear approximation to solve a question? Now, in binomial expansion, the expansion of a kind of expression like this, 1 plus x raised to the power of n, is equal to 1 plus n combination 1 x plus n combination 2, x squared, and so on and so forth like that. That is how it goes when we are doing our expansion. Now, if x is so small to the extent that x squared and x cubed and the rest are getting smaller and smaller to the extent that they get ignored, they get ignored, nobody is recognizing them again, then 1 plus x and x raised to the power of n will be approximately equal to 1 plus n x. This is what we refer to as linear approximation. But take note, the value of x must be very, very small, must be so small. So let's now apply that to the question we have here on the board. For this next question we have here that says that we should find the linear approximation of a root of 4.02 as we have it there. Now, this is equivalent or means the same value as a 4.02 raised to the power of half. That is the meaning of the square root of this here. It is the power of half. That value at the denominator will be the uh, root of any value given to us. Now, in this sense now, this can as well mean 4 raised to the power of half. Now, you have the 4 raised to the power of half a into bracket 4.02 all over 4 raised to the power of half. You can know, you know the meaning of this translation. This translation means 4 raised to the power of half divided by 4 raised to the power of half. If we open up this bracket for this 4 here, it will be 4 raised to the power of half. Then, by the time we call this out, it will still remain 4.0 to the power of R. But what do we intend to do here? We want to make this value to be equal to a particular value that will equate to one point, a particular uh, expression like that. So this one will now mean 4.02 or divided by 4. We are going to get uh, 1 point uh, 4 is power of uh, half into bracket of uh, 1 point uh, 0, 0, 5 raised to the power of half. If you divide this, you are going to get 1.005 raised to the power of half, which as well can now be equal to 4 raised to the power of half in the bracket of 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to the power of half. We have converted this 
expression now into letting the value of x to be so low where we can as well we can now perform our linear approximation on it. Now we go ahead and say for is power of half will now be is now equal to for is power of half one plus uh, two one over two one over two multiplied by zero point zero zero five. 1 over 2, which, they, which is linear approximation of our calculation now. 1 over 2 multiplied by 0 0.05 plus this one here is now equivalent to 4 is power of half into 1 plus 0 0.0025. 0 0.0025. 1 plus 0 0.0025 will give us 1.0025. 0, 0, 2, 5. Now, don't forget that the value of this 4 is power half is equivalent to square root of 4. Good. Into a bracket of 1.0025. 0, 0, we have it now to become what square root of 4? 2 into 1.0025. 0, 0, 2 multiplied by 1.0025 0, 0, will give us 2.00. 2.005. This is the answer to that expression, the linear expression of that uh, root 4.02 that we are asked to find. We all found our question and asked to also find the linear approximation of 1 over root of 0 0.909. Now, how do we go about it? We go about it in this order 1 over root of 0 0.909. Don't forget that this particular expression is as well equal to oh, root of 0 0.909 raised power of minus 1. This value of the uh, reciprocal here, turn this value into this. And this uh, particular square root here, you know, it means uh, 0 0.909 raised power of uh, uh, half. Right, minus 1, this power of minus 1, multiplied by minus 1, that is there already, so it becomes 0 0.909 raised power of a minus 1 over 2. That is the meaning of this expression right now. Now, what is the value that is going to give us 0 0.909? By subtracting any value from 1 or adding any value to, to 1. So it cannot be 1 minus 0. Point, uh, zero nine one will now raise power of minus one over two. You can see we subtract zero point zero nine one from one. We are going to get zero point nine zero nine. So we move ahead by having it to become the linear position now will now be one minus minus of multiplied by zero point zero nine one, which is as well equal to one. Plus uh, minus sign minus is plus nine zero point zero nine one over two. That is what that expression is telling us right now. And uh, when you add uh, or divide it by two, when you divide zero point zero nine one, when you divide it by two, you are going to get uh, zero one plus uh, one plus zero point uh, uh, zero four five five and. Uh, that is the division of 0 0.091 divided by 2. So when you add it together, you eventually get 1.045. 1 1 uh, that is the answer to that particular uh, question given to us there. Another question comes away right now. The next question is, say we should find linear approximation of uh, root of uh, 9.018 don't forget that this expression is as well equal to it means 9.018 raised power of half that is a very good part of that expression there now this expression can as well now means 9 raised power of uh, 9 raised power of half into bracket 9.018 over 9 raised power of half. You can see that when you look at this 9 at the denominator here, 
Risk power of half divided by this one is still as you are having behind 9.018 risk power of half. Now you now go ahead by saying what is the value of 9, 9 risk power of half? That will be root of uh, 9. You know, when you have the uh, the square, the power that the value that is at the denominator here will form the root here into bracket of what is 9.018 divided by 9.018 divided by 9. You are going to have uh, 1.002 raised power of half like that, which is equal to what is the square root of 9? 3 into 1 plus 0 0.002 raised power of half. You can see that the value here is extremely uh, very small now, it's extremely small. So, in that regard, we can apply our linear approximation to the question. So we are we're going to have 3 into 1 plus a half times a 0 0.002. So half multiplied by, so you are going to have 3 into uh, 1 plus a 0 0.002 over 2. 0 0.002 over 2. So we have it to be equal to 0 0.002 over 2 will be 0 0.001. 3 into 1 plus 0 0.001. So, which is going to be equal to 3 into a bracket of 1.001. Uh, when you multiply it like in that order, like that, the other answer will now be equal to 3.003. When you multiply this 3 by the value here, 3.003. That is a linear approximation of that expression. Stay tuned for the next question. Next question A asks us to find a linear approximation for 0 0.98 raised power of 10. 0 0.98 raised power of 10. If you look at this question very well, you will see that this kind of a question is going to be a little bit different, different from the one we've been doing so far. Because here we are going to subtract a particular value from uh from one to make it 0 0.98 as we have done i think we have done such a question in like two questions before now now this is how we're going to go about this one you see one minus 0 0.02 if you subtract 0 0.02 from one you will definitely get uh, uh 0 0.98 since we have been doing the most of the question what we have been doing so far is a uh, addition of uh, those value to one then uh, we get it like that. So in this case, that's why we bring out this question so that you'll be able to know how to also approach this kind of a question. You will have been familiar with it from here. Thank you. Now, we go ahead by just saying that this one will now be, because this uh, XA value, eh, the value of uh, 0.03 is small. So which is going to make the X square S raised power 3 to be, to be, to be meaningless, to, not to be able to be visible. Then you can apply your linear approximation here. So it becomes minus 10 multiplied by 0 0.02. 1 minus 10 multiplied by 0. This is the linear approximation. It can be applied to that uh, expression. In that regard, I can now say that it has become 1 minus 10 multiplied by 0 0.02. We give us uh, 0 0.2. Now, if you now say 1, subtract 0 0.2, if you subtract this 0 0.2 from 1, you definitely get 0 0.8. So, and that is the answer to this uh, question A. We are very glad you are part of this class today. Do stay tuned and please keep around, subscribe to our channel so that you'll be able to have access to all our, our lectures. Thanks and God bless. See you.